Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. Okay, it's the morning after the BET Awards and what? Mariah Carey, Beyonce, wait a minute, do they have it together or what? Oh, wait a minute, or Tamar. Yes, anyway, um, yes, and we are so excited because of course with the beginning of July, we're under a heat wave, still they've extended it and we're thankful we have new sources of air. Anyway, we're gonna bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh yeah, they, they, they're they refusing to take the Democrats' advice and pass the Senate bill immediately on immigration. They said you will never win elective office again unless you support this plan. Oh, oh, here, here, Herbie Daddy's giving you a thing. Uh, he said, who are, who are in this country illegally? Oh, they're the socialist brand of the illegal aliens. Are they going to ever vote Republican? Well, until the Supreme Court hearing, no. But since the, they basically don't like, they don't believe in gay marriage and abortions and all of those issues, they just basically split it off enough people on the, the Latino side that the Republicans now are going to get, a, you know, probably 30, 40 percent of the vote no matter what. So, and then, oh, what did Herbie Eddy also say? He said, Republicans are going to basically stick with the enforce the border, then we'll talk about legalization. But don't enforce the border, and there's no talk about legalization. Oh, Herbie Daddy said also, they said on the thing, he, he told one of the people, said John McCain, he said, um, he said, somebody just stole the money out of your back pocket. Do you think that that person should be given an award for it? And he said, well, absolutely not. And he said, but you're wanting to tell the people that are here illegally, stealing the money out of poor uh, Afro-American kids that would have those jobs in restaurants, that they should be rewarded for taking the money out of their back pocket. Mm -hmm. He said, well, this will, when we get them legalized, the guy said, they're already here. They're not going to make any more money than they currently are. And they're going to hold exactly the same jobs they were before. There's not going to be any difference. It will not boost an economy with them already here. If the guy was making $10 yesterday, he's going to be making $9 tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And Putin signs into law a gay propaganda ban. Yeah, because we're the only country in the whole bloody world that recognizes gay rights. I mean, it's all right to be gay in England as long as you don't get married. It's all right to be gay in Holland as long as you don't get married. It's all and right. And Holland's pretty progressive. I know, but as long as you, you can basically, don't, they don't care about the gay people as long as they don't basically try to stand out. You know, that, okay, here's the thing is they said last night, well, I mean, we're talking, the, some of the people are very unhappy, said, did you realize that you, according to what Justice Kennedy has said, in his majority opinion, and the Democrats did say in their opinions that they have now made being a, made religion a minor a, a problem for the Constitution. You can you basically said you have no constitutional rights if you have if you believe in religion in our country. So therefore, they go back to the thing and say, well, you violated my constitutional rights by forcing gay uh, gay people on me. And the Constitution says, if my religion says, I have the right to religious freedom, my religion does not believe in gay marriage and gay this and gay that, you basically have to give me my rights, which means you're going to have to come up with an idea of how to make this work, folks. It always was there. It's called virtually every state that passes a gay, uh, no, a gay marriage resolution has several unions. Mm -hmm. and, they all, and, and so that was the answer to everything. But what happened was, Oh, Herbie Daddy said that one of the people, I heard, I saw one of the, one of, one of the gay people I've known for like 60 years. He said, what, they, what, what happened was, you damn fools, you won the battle and just lost the whole damn world war because all you did was piss off every religious group in the whole world at you. And they're going to come down on you. He said, oh, Herbie Daddy said, um, why did you go find a job in a Muslim country? What happened? Try to find a job in a Jewish country. That's not going to happen. He said, go to a southern state and try to find a job. It's not going to happen. He said, go to Hollywood and try to find a job. You aren't going to get any work now. You were working before. Don't count on it now. And Lauren Spears' parents sued three who were with their daughter. Oh, this gives me the ass tonight. Well, they should have prevented something from happening to her. Well, I hate to tell you that when somebody is an adult, you're not responsible for the actions that they take 
when you're uh, when you're going to a theater or something with them. If they decide to go off with somebody, that is not your fault. It is not your job to watch after these people. That basically, uh, my, what I mean, my my uh, grandmother said that people are only responsible for the stupid things they do and not the stupid things other people do. And heat wave to bake the Western U.S. Oh God, it's, it's, it has been baking, not to bake it. It has been. Uh, yeah, it basically. Well, oh, what it means is they've extended it because of the. And it's an El Nino problem. They've extended it. Uh, into after the 4th of July now. We're supposed to die before the 4th, but because we're now getting the, uh, the, the humidity and the thunderstorms that basically come in with El Nino's folks. Mm -hmm. And Anthony Weiner surges to lead in Democratic mayoral race. I, I know, but it's all right. Anthony, Willie, um, Will, um, Anthony Weiner only exposed himself to, uh, to young women. Paula Dean basically called people the N-word. But, it's the, but uh, that you know, was in how many years ago? Yeah, and it's basically better to be a sex offender, according to the law, than be somebody that says something stupid. Or even to sell drugs 30 years oh, ago. Oh, God, you can basically... Or 20 uh, years ago. And yeah, the President of the United States had missed a drug dealing, and it's all right. You know, he, you know. well, he was forced into it. No, he just was doing it because he could, he could make money off of it, and he didn't have any, he didn't have money like other kids, so. Mm -hmm. And 19 firefighters killed and 200 homes burned in Arizona blaze. I know. Uh, these were the, uh, the elite, and they let a fire get behind them. Uh, oh. and this is not the old world of, I mean, I was on in a movie well, a long time ago with Richard Widmark and a very young Richard Boone, where they were playing fire uh, smoke shelters from Montana, and the movie opened with the fire getting behind the experienced people, and they worked out a method that wouldn't happen again. We have cell phones today, we have radios, we have all the things they didn't have in that movie, and for some reason they didn't have an escape route, and they basically they didn't have an escape. No, route? they didn't plan on running from the scene, which is basically the first thing you do when Don't you go in is you escape. prepare your way out. They didn't. And they got caught and got the flat fire went over the top of them. Oh. Yeah. A song says Snowden marooned in Russia, Ecuador president concurred. Oh, oh yeah. That Putin is saying today, he said that Snowden is going to have to stop giving up secrets if he wishes to stay in Moscow. Well, since Moscow, had, uh, Moscow would have to fly him out of the country on a military plane to take him out of the country without a passport. And wherever he was taken, if they have no military planes out, and they do no business with the United States in Colombia, Ecuador, or, um, or Venezuela, so they go fly him there and then leave him there, and the United States can't touch him there either. In the airport he can't be touched, and they also know that uh, they're blowing the whistle like the latest there. Europeans are really unhappy about bugging EU meetings now. Oh. I, I love this moron. <laughs> he said, well, you can't, you know, uh, this is what it is. If, if you get caught, well, we were only doing what everyone else is doing. Uh, I, I always let it think, though. So, Maybe Daddy says, I was playing, I played a German in, in um, The Great Escape, not The Great Escape, but uh, uh, what is that stupid movie? The Dirty Dozen, mm -hmm. and I was in German. I, I was in German every escape too. But uh, there was a line in the movie where Charles Bronson said, "I know the guy deserved what happened to him." And then Lee Marvin said, "Simply, we both know that, but you got caught." Mm -hmm. So a judge saying it something well, it, they deserved it. Everybody else is doing it. It doesn't make any difference. You're the one that got caught. Mm -hmm. And it's complicated. Lots to sort out on gay marriage. Yeah, first of all, they didn't, they, uh, there was no victory other than the fact that they have to follow the, the dogma is not dead. Dogma says marriage is between a man and a woman. All they did on Do Defense of Marriage Act was simply say, you can't deny them the same rights that you do other people. That's all the ruling said. They did not say gay marriage was, it was legal. Mm -hmm. they, all, they said, you know, they, the ruling was by, you know, a majority opinion that states' rights prevail over federal rights when it comes to marriage, but they did not rule on dogma other than the fact that you cannot deny someone rights of other people. If, if you're getting them rights in civil unions, you have to get the rights when you're uh, otherwise. So that's all they said, and the gay people are, you know, we, gay marriage is now legal. No, it's not. It's no more legal today than it was a week ago. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Oh, this one, Monty, this one says that uh, that uh, that that 
people only pay attention to judicial statements that they that they like and they ignore everything they don't like. <laughs>